Go to the horizontal type tool in Photoshop. You'll find it in the tools panel. Select that and then type something. I'm just going to go for the word type. Now, as always, the font is size is always a bit too small. So I'm just going to quickly resize that. Now with that, what I can do, I can convert it into a smart object. And smart object means I can apply smart filters to it, which I can change at any time. So go to layer and smart objects and convert to smart object. It's still type, you can still edit the type, but you have to go through, just click here and then edit it. However, now you've got this, what you can do is you can apply various filters. Now you can apply filters before, but they're destructive effects. So you just go to filter, say down to blur and Gaussian blur. So you can just blur it like that. Just blur the whole thing. The whole thing is completely obliterated near enough. You can just about make out the word type. And you can see over here, smart filters, Gaussian blur. And also you've got this just beneath it. And you can just select that, just click on there. Just, just go there, you can see now it's got a little box around it. And you can go to the gradient tool or any of the other brush tools that work on pixels and just select one of these. I'm just gonna go with the black and white and also I'm gonna go with normal and also I'm gonna go with linear. And you can just apply it. And it's applied just to this little box there, the mask. So just drag down, hold down the shift key so you can make it nice, straight, straight down. And you can see now the blur effect, the bit that's there that's white is blurred. The black area is very sharp. And you can do it the other way around. You can do it, go like that, go that angle and so on. So you can just blur just a part of it, just change it, tweak it. And of course you can modify this even more. You can add various other effects to it. You can add brush strokes to it and much, much more. Well, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.